In this video, we will look into the chat functionality of the Olama REST API. We will access the REST API directly, like we did in the previous video with the generate endpoint, except this time we will use the Python request package. Similar to the generate endpoint, there is a chat endpoint exposed by the Olama REST API. It is also prefixed with slash API, so the path is slash API slash chat. And like the generate endpoint, you post a request to the API with the content type header set to application JSON, and the request body is still a JSON object. The main difference is the format of that JSON object. First, you'll need to specify the model name, and I'll use Llama 3.2 again. And instead of a single prompt, you'll provide an array of messages. Each of these messages is a JSON object with a role key and a content key. The content is what the name suggests, the content of the message sent to the LLM. The role, however, influences how the LLM handles the content. Let's take a closer look. There are four possible values for the role. The system role uses the content to set the context of the chat. It can do pre-processing, set prerequisite knowledge, or establish rules for how the LLM will respond and this is generally the first message in the chat. The user role represents you, the user interacting with the LLM. In this case, the content is the prompt you want the LLM to respond to. The assistant role represents the LLM as it responds to the user messages. This can be used to provide example responses to user prompts. And the tool role refers to functionality that the LLM might not have, but can use to generate better responses. We won't be using this role in the demo. Here's a sample sequence of messages to prepare a chat about Python development in Visual Studio Code. And for the purposes of this demo, we will set the stream key to false. If you're enjoying this video and want to see more, click the subscribe button. Also, don't forget to hit the like button. To be notified of future videos, click the bell to know as soon as new videos are published. Let's do this in Python with requests. In Visual Studio Code, I have the Python extension installed, and I've configured a virtual environment. Now I need to install requests with pip. So we'll say pip install requests. Now I'm going to create a new Python file and I'll call it chat.py. And in chat.py, I will import the request module. Now I've got messages in the messages.json file, so I need to read the contents of the file and then convert them into a Python list. And to do that, I will use the JSON module from the Python standard library. And then open up that file for reading. And then just use json.load and pass it that file handle. Now to make things easier to read, I'm going to create several constants. And the first is the URL of the Olama server chat endpoint. I'll call that chat endpoint, and we'll set it to HTTP, localhost, port 11.434, API slash chat. Now for the JSON data. I'll create a data constant, and I'll assign it a dictionary. And this will be converted to JSON when, the requ when request makes the HTTP request. But the data dictionary is going to have several keys, and the first is going to be the model which will be llama 3.2 then messages which will be the messages that we read out of the messages.json file and finally stream which will be false now since we're in python remember to use false with a capital f now create one more dictionary for the headers and set content type to application slash JSON. Now I can make the request using requests. 
So there is in the requests module a post function. And the post function wants the URL of the uh, wants the URL of the endpoint. And since the request body is in JSON format, I'll use the JSON keyword argument and pass it the data. And finally, the headers keyword argument will be the headers dictionary. And this is going to return a response. Now what I need to do is check to make sure that the response succeeded. And if that is the case, then the status code will be 200. And then since the response body data is JSON, I can use the JSON method to retrieve it as a dictionary and print it to the command line. So let's run this and see what happens. Now notice, if I open this up a little bit, that there is a message key, which is a dictionary with a content key. So what I can do here is if I get that out, So now I can see that it is recommending three formatters. So despite the simplicity of this, you can actually do a lot with the API. At this point, you could actually create a chat bot, granted a very simple chat bot, but by appending the user prompts and LLM responses to the messages list with the appropriate roles. Or you could change the tone of the chat by adding a different system role message to the beginning. And later videos will have more about Python and Olama to develop applications. Thanks for watching.